With more and more servers consolidated into your virtual infrastructure, protecting and securing it is imperative. As the number of vulnerabilities, malware, and hacker techniques that can affect cloud infrastructures grow, so has the number of solutions available for protection. Whether you're a cloud provider, enterprise, or SMB, the protection requirements remain the same, including safeguarding and hardening virtual machines without having to purchase expensive hardware or having to install agents on each virtual machine, isolating virtual machines on the network in any way your organization requires, easily controlled by a graphical or PowerShell CLI interface, and finally performing anti-malware scans of virtual machines and hosts quickly with low overhead, preventing antivirus storms or IO utilization bottlenecks. Most virtual switch and endpoint security solutions today are costly, resource consuming, and complex. 5.9 Security Manager provides cost-effective, agentless, and easy-to-use security and compliance solutions to maximize virtualization ROI for Hyper-V platforms. 5.9 Security Manager for Hyper-V is the first agentless, powerful, easy-to-use, and cost-effective security solution for the Microsoft virtualization platform that is utilizing the new extensibility of the Hyper-V switch. The Microsoft virtualization platform is rapidly growing and will accelerate with the release of Windows 8, Windows Server 2012, and Microsoft Hyper-V Server 2012. 5.9 Virtual Firewall and Anti-Malware is being used by an increasing number of cloud providers, enterprises, and SMBs. Now let's jump into our demonstration of how 5.9 Virtual Firewall can help you. With Windows Server 2012, Hyper-V now offers an extensible switch with the Windows Filtering Platform, or WFP. In this video, you'll see the extensibility of the Hyper-V switch in action with the new 5.9 Virtual Firewall and Anti-Malware V3 switch extension. To demonstrate the power of these solutions, we'll start with this Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V host that has two Windows client virtual machines running inside. The 5.9 Virtual Firewall V3 WFP extension is installed on the host. Here, inside the Hyper-V Manager, you can see that we have two Windows desktops. WinXP1 and WinXP2. If we go into the Virtual Switch Manager, you can see here under our Virtual Switch inside Extensions that we have an extension installed under the Windows Filtering Platform. It's the 5.9 Virtual Firewall. If we look back at our virtual machines, let's first verify the IP addresses and the firewall status of each guest virtual machine. We see here that Virtual Machine 1 is 192.168.0.24, and if we go down here, we can check its firewall status, and you can see that its firewall is set to off. On Virtual Machine 2, its IP address is 192.168.0.26, so they are both on the same network, and if we check its firewall status, its firewall is turned off as well. Now even though these two virtual machines are on the same network, if we try to ping from one to the other, or if we try to open a web page from Virtual Machine 1 to Virtual Machine 2 that's running a web server, you can see that it's currently not possible. This is because 5.9 Virtual Firewall isolates virtual machines by default unless specific allow, global, or per virtual machine rules are created. Now let's go into the 5.9 Virtual Firewall Administration Tool and create a rule allowing access to TCP port 80 on Virtual Machine 2. Notice that the rule has already been created and all we need to do is change its action from a block action to an allow action. This is a virtual machine specific rule that allows traffic to this virtual machine, virtual machine 2, on TCP port 80 from any remote IP address, including the Hyper-V host in this case, as well as virtual machine 1. With this rule in place, now let's test accessing the web server on virtual machine 2 from virtual machine 1. Back here in the web browser on Virtual Machine 1, if I click Refresh, you can see that we were successfully able to pull up the web page. However, what if we tried pinging that same Virtual Machine from Virtual Machine 1 or from the host? Notice that the traffic is still being denied from the Virtual Machine, as well as on the host. Now let's go in and allow ICMP or ping from only Virtual Machine 1, but not from Virtual Machine 2 or the host. To do this, we'll go in and add an IP rule. I'll call it ICMP, and it will allow ICMP only to and from this virtual machine. I'll say OK here. To test this, let's attempt to ping Virtual Machine 2 from Virtual Machine 1. As you can see, the traffic is allowed. Now let's attempt to ping Virtual Machine 1 from Virtual Machine 2. 
Again, as you can see, the traffic is allowed. However, if we try to ping the host, that traffic is denied. Again, if we go to the host and try to ping Virtual Machine 1, that traffic is allowed. But if we tried to ping Virtual Machine 2, that traffic is denied. This proves that the rule we created, only allowing ping traffic to go to and from Virtual Machine 1, is successfully filtering our traffic. Besides the virtual firewall functionality with Windows Server 2012, 5.9 also offers agentless anti-malware that can be invoked on demand or on a schedule. In summary, the extensible virtual switch and Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V offers a powerful and open platform for network solutions to be built upon. 5.9 uses the standard Windows API for Windows filtering platform to implement their virtual firewall v3 and anti-malware solution. The 5.9 v firewall extension provides the ability to isolate virtual machines and secure the virtual infrastructure, controlled from a graphical interface or through PowerShell scripts. You won't have to install agents in each virtual machine and it doesn't matter what guest operating system is in use. Sign up for a free evaluation of 5.9 Virtual Firewall and Anti-Malware for Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V today.